Uh, thank you, Chairman Royce and Ranking Member Engel, for bringing these measures before us today and for your leadership on this committee. I want to say thank you to all the members whose bills are before us today for your hard work. The bills considered today, including the Export Control Reform Act, Global Food Security Reauthorization Act, and Women's Entrepreneurship and Economic Empowerment Act, address important issues in the world, and I'm pleased to support all of them. Included in this package is a bill I authored with Representative Mark Meadows of North Carolina before the committee today, the Global Electoral Exchange Act, or H.R. 5274. In the last decade, we've seen democracies around the world in retreat, including some in our own backyard. This is in contrast to prior years. In countries around the world, democracy activists and well-intentioned leaders strive to create more inclusive societies but face significant challenges, including lack of institutional knowledge of electoral processes. An election is a complex endeavor and an exercise a society undertakes together. It requires an engaged public, robust institutions, and a transparent, technically sound electoral mechanism. Such an electoral mechanism must include a secret ballot, inclusive voting systems, chain of custody, neutral instructions to voters, and so much more of what may be considered good electoral practices. When these electoral mechanisms are inadequately transparent or technically unsound, the legitimacy of an election and its results are in question. We saw this firsthand in Kenya and Honduras over the last year, where electoral failure led to election violence and a questionable outcome. The State Department and USAID already engage in excellent work in partnership with groups like the National Endowment for Democracy, National Democratic Institute, International Republican Institute, and International Foundation for Electoral Systems, supporting democracy worldwide. This bill would establish exchange programs with other countries administered by the State Department for individuals involved in the conduct of elections. When we bring folks over here to show them how we do things and send Americans to other countries to see how elections are conducted overseas, we can have candid conversations on how all of us can improve these processes. These educational programs would benefit both societies abroad, keen on democratizing, and our own states and cities right here in the United States. I'd like to thank again uh, my co-author, Mark Meadows. I believe he's at an over, over, he's at a OGR hearing and can't be here right now. Uh, but he and his staff put in a lot of work also. And I'd, I'd like to say thank you and ask for my colleague's support on this. Thank you. We go now to Mike McCall of Texas.